All right, basement gourmet. Uh, obviously, we're not in the basement. Uh, we're here in uh, Tennessee, Norris Lake. I uh, hope we're going to uh, catch up some fish here. We're going to cook it for you. Okay? So this is a uh, catch and cook video. Hopefully. As you can see, the weather is quite shitty. So we're going to uh, persevere, and press on, and go for the big catch. And fry that motherfucker up. All right, so we're going to pass this bad boy out there. See what happens. Caught a lot of bluegills out there uh, last weekend, so hopefully, if any luck, we're going to hook up with some good bluegill, uh, red ear sunfish. That'll be some really good eating. Catching a fish like this is put them, put them right on ice, straight in the cooler full ice. That's the best way to keep them fresh. Uh, they're going to stay really nice. Oh, well, yeah. Good red ear sunfish. You can even lift them. He's so big on this. All right, let's get that dude on ice. All right, let's cast him back out. Same spot. I seen him do the honey hole last week, so uh, hopefully that's the same way. That thing fall to the bottom. See if you see the line stop. Just like that. Oh, we got one of it. Just like that. I think the hole is happening today, boys. Oh, another good one. This goes good. Another good bluegill. Red ears. Another red ears sunset. A little smaller, I'm going to put him back. Yeah, he's eating size. He's going in the fry pan. Right, so once again, put it straight on ice. Yeah, so the best way to keep your fish when you catch them is just on ice, buddy. Look at that. Just fresh. Ooh, nice. Best way to do it. Put them on ice. All right, we caught a few fish. I would have liked to have more, but you know what? We got some nice, nice, good size red ear sunfish. Look at them babies. Mmm. All right, we're going to show you a couple different ways you can clean your fish. Uh, you can scale it and eat the skin, or we can flay it and take the skin off. Okay, so if you want to eat the skin, uh, first thing you got to do is scale it. You can use just a uh, spoon to do this. I actually have a scaler. It makes it nice. But... So we go over. Make sure to get all the scales off. Then flip it over. Same thing. So what we want to do, get right there inside, just kind of bounce the knife along the top of the rib cage. And you'll see it, feel it break through right there. Push down, flat it off, and rub.
along the top of the rib cage and kind of peel it back. There you go. It's a pretty good fillet. Skin on. Okay. All right. So next method, if you want to go skinless, now you don't have to bother with a uh, scaling it. Let's do like we did before. Cut straight through. Scales and all. Bounce along the top of the rib cage again. Now this time we don't want to cut all the way through. We want to leave it attached right there. Same as before. Scrape the top of the rib cage. Okay, now what we do, turn that around, we cut, we press down, let's take the skin right off, there you go, now that's, that's the more uh, premium way, you know I like them both, I like the skin. A lot of nutritional value, uh, omega threes and stuff in the skin. So, you know, I like them both. Very few bones, a couple of pin bones you can pull out. Yeah, but you know. Let's repeat on the other side. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to take the carcass. Take scissors, I know it's a little hardcore, but we're going to cut the gut sack out of this fish carcass, go behind the anal thin there, and just pretty much cut along the, uh, got some guts leaking out there, rinse that off. Okay, so we're going to take all these uh, fish carcasses. Uh, and we're going to freeze them, and when we get enough of them, we'll make a fish stock. So that's going to go in the bag with the points. This will all be rinsed off upstairs later, so we're good to go. Alright, so we're going to make some uh, beer batter for this fish. Beer batter, I do yeast. We're just doing a little bit of fish here, so probably, I don't know, a teaspoon of yeast. Beer. I'm using IPA. Probably. Yeah, three quarter cup or so. IPA. Start adding flour in. What's that good? Want a pretty light batter. A little more flour. Pretty good right there. Let that sit. Gotta do this thing. All right, so about ready to fry this fish. A little salt, pepper, a little bit of all-purpose flour. We're going to do the uh, skinless pieces, uh, beer battered, 
the skin on, we're just going flour only. No batter. Alright, time to fry up that fish. So we've got our wonderful beer batter. Straight into the fryer. Really light batter here. We've got a skin on piece. Do flour only. All right, those are looking oh, just golden brown, and delicious. Mm. What a better way to celebrate this fish's life by frying it right here. One of the very waters that was caught. A little salt. Oh, nice, crispy. Mm. Oh. So there you have it. Some cats and cook, uh, bluegill, and red ear sunfish. Uh, beer battered, you know, straight up fried. Serve that up with some uh, malt vinegar, tartar sauce, maybe some of that basement gourmet lemon dill dressing. Yeah.